Welcome back. Today we're going to carry over with Bandit Linux challenges from over the wire. And the last level we got on was 27. And today we will continue to complete all of the levels. So basically, let's connect now as Bandit 27 and solve the challenge. So SSH Bandit 27, and here we go. And now we need the password. Since we have solved the other challenges or the challenges before, you can grab the password based on your progress for the user pad 27 and connect. So let's read here. There is a git repository at SSH and the password for the user pad 27 dash git is the same as for the user pad 27. Clone the repository and find the password for the next level. So here we get to go, here we get to work with uh, git repositories, explore how we can view the commits, extract the branches, and ext also extract information. So let's take the address and try to clone the repository. Before cloning the repository, it's super preferable to create a directory where you can edit. So basically we make directory-p in temp and name it bandit28-28 cd to temp bandit-28 and now we type git clone the command to clone a git repository since we're connecting over ssh we're going to need to provide the password and it's given in the challenge that the password for bandit27 git is the same password as bandit27 and since we have the password for bandit27 we're going to type that immediately here paste and now we have a cloned repository so ls we see a directory appearing here called repo we see the repo explore what do we have in here we have one file called readme it's pretty much easy to find the password for this level so we grab this one and next we connect to the next level so bandit now 28 all right okay let's now step up to level 28 next one there is a git repository again the password for that user or for the user bandit 28-git is the same as for, so the same uh, the same logic here all right so let's get clone that first make directory dash p temp bandit this time 29 cd temp bandit 29 and now we clone this yes and the password let's see where is the password for the for the user panel 28 okay so cd to repo ls cat read me and we see here notes some notes for level 29 of bandit credentials username panda 29 and the password is kind of uh, encrypted or redacted whatever so basically we have to find the password now since we have only one file inside this repo you might be thinking there's not, not, nothing else to do here but in addition to cloning a repository and going over the files we can also explore the history of the commits that have been done on the repository exploring the history shows the differences between the commits the old commits and the new commits so to do that we can type git git log dash p dash p is to show the difference now as you can see we see the log of all the commits that have been made along with the author and the date so if you take a look at this comment here this one 7 may 22 and there is seems to be a password or something but if you take a look at this comment here at 7 may uh, the same date actually seems to be the same date fix info leak and we see here some notes for level 29 and we see here the password so we can take this and now connect to level uh, 30. 
So pandit 29 now. Provide in the password. And there you go. So the next one, level 29. So the same here, we have to connect to that repository and extract the password. So make directory slash temp slash bandit 30, I guess. Yep. So now cd to temp bandit 30. And we clone the repo. We will need the password, so we provide the password for the user of the previous level. And ls, again we have the repo, directory repo, ls, read the readme file. Some notes for pandit, 30 of pandits. So in the password field, it says no passwords in production. So as we did in the last level, we can do it the same here. We can see the history of the commits that have been made and see the difference. So git log dash p. Let's take a look. So this username and we, we got credential username, username, and this, we see the same here. Password, no passwords in production. And that's it for the history. So we, we couldn't find anything of interest in the history of the commits and showing the difference hasn't uh, done much for us. So what we're going to do now, we're going to see if the repository contains branches. Enumerating branches is also important part of working with uh, Git repositories. So we do that with Git branch. Let me make sure that the command is correct. So let's go to the notes and see where we can scroll down. So git branch, that's correct. So we have one branch, master. Let's see more information about this branch by typing git branch or git checkout master. Git branch checkout, let me make sure the command is correct. You can't memorize everything, right? So git checkout branch name. All right, so check out here and the branch name is master. Your branch is up to date with origin master. All right, so what do we, what can we do here? So let's use this one, git branch dash r, git dash r. And indeed, we see now the full branches, head, dev, master, exploits, dash dev. Now this one, we haven't found anything. Let's take a look at this one. So git um, check out dev. Now we switch to the branch dev. Let's take a look now at the history, git log dash p. And now in this branch, we see the history of the commits that have been made and we see the difference. So this is the old one and this is the new one. Now we can take this and connect to the level of the next all the next channels. So Q and now pandit 30. Okay. So level 30 now. So again the same, let's connect to the given repository and retrieve the information. So make directory dash p temp bandit 31 cd temp bandit 31 git clone repo already exists and is not an empty directory okay i think we have to create another directory bandit 31 v1 cd bandit 31v1 all right let's issue the command one more time all right so yes and we go up 
could read the password. Fine. CD repo ls cat read me. Just an empty file. More. <laughs> okay. Again, the next step is to view the history of the commits. So git log dash p. Let's go over the changes. And in going over the changes, actually it doesn't give you anything. And we get the same statement here. You may be saying this could be the password, but it's not declared as this is the password, so you have to ignore this. Now let's go over uh, the branches. Git branch dash r. We got head and we got master. Let's check out master. Check out master. The branch is up to date with origin master. Let's check out head. The branch is up to date with head. So what do we do now? Let's see if we can use this command master so it seems that checking out the branches and going over the logs actually doesn't give us anything let's go back to the note and see what we can do here so view the history we can view clone the repo view the branches reviewing tagged history items so we haven't tried this i guess okay so if you know about git repositories you will you will, will realize that sometimes you can tag items in the history with specific tags so we can view these tags or we can we can view the items that have been tagged tagged using this command git tag all right so git tag and indeed we see one item that has been tagged if you want to show the if you want to show the contents of this tag you can just type git show and the tag name so git show and the tag name is secret and indeed as you can see we have the password now for the next level so we can break out here and connect to the next one which is bandit 31 type in the password and we connect it level 31 and the same statement all right so let's copy that make directory dash p temp bandit 32 cd temp bandit 32 git clone uh, all right let's make new one cd or make directory dash p bandit 32 v1 cd bandit do v1 ls okay nothing here that's great let's now clone that repository and yes so the password let's go up i prefer i prefer actually if i have created uh, a note file for all of these passwords it would be easier actually to provide them but anyway you maybe do it you may be better, better than me all right so paste and ls see the repo again read the file this time your task is to push a file to the remote repository file name contents and branch so this time we will not be enumerating we will be uploading files and pushing them to the repository completely different experience so now we're going to create the file so let me go over the steps here pushing files to repo so we first we create the file and then we remove the git ignore because it may be an obstacle in uploading files you have to remove this uh, hidden file and then we upload the file using git add commit the changes and we push the file lastly okay so touch the name of the file is p the text and the contents so since the file needs to contain this statement we're gonna have to use echo so echo 
may I come in? And we store the results in key.txt. Next thing we remove git ignore and git add key.txt. All right. Lastly, or before the last step, we need to commit the changes. So git commit dash m and here we put whatever statement you would like to see when the file is being uploaded so i'm gonna say um, key file being um, pushed <laughs> all right so key file being pushed and one file changed one insertion lastly we commit the changes so git push origin master origin master is the name of the original repository so git push origin master yes band 31 password let's see here again we need to scroll up since we since i haven't created any notes of the passwords so i'm gonna take this and go back paste let's see here so counting objects delta compression total three attempting to validate files well done here is the password so this is the password for the next level now we ssh out of band 31 and we type in here 32 paste and we see shell welcome to the uppercase shell all right before going to work with the uppercase shell we're gonna step here to the the challenge or this level before the last one after all this git stuff this time it's time for another escape good luck so here we got to oh this is my notes okay so we got to escape the restricted shell now i have i have a file here guys for uh, bypassing restricted shells let me see if we can find anything uh, to use here red team Uh, where is my notes? I think Windows Security has blocked the notes. I'm gonna retrieve them from Windows Defender. Just bear with me a second. So we're gonna go to uh, Security, Windows Security. Windows Defender doesn't learn. I all the time whitelist the file, but again, ignores me. So threat found. It's not threat actions allow on device and then we say restore clearing tracks again we go back to reverse all right it's carrying restricted shells so let's now echo out echo the shell we are in see what kind of shell we are we have echo shell echo not found so it seems that the shell we have here takes whatever we put right and converts into uppercase so since the echo has been converted to uppercase echo uh, it hasn't been recognized as a command that's why it didn't work so this means that whatever whatever we try in here it's not going to work oak or export or find or sh or bash or python nothing nothing going to work so what we're going to do here we're going to need to find a way to use parameters that equals to an original shell so for that i prepared you a link guys to check out so in this link we can take a look at the positional parameters that equals to bash shell so positional parameters and we have special parameters the shell treats several parameters specially these parameters may only be referenced assignment to them is not allowed so these parameters can be used as or to spawn the shell without using any character since the characters here are kind of I'm not gonna say filtered it's kind of filter right so whatever character you do or you put in here it's converted to uppercase preventing you from issuing the exact command so I called it filter so what are the special parameters we can use here so we have dollar and asterisk expands to the positional parameters starting from one when the expansion is not within double quotes all right, so we can dollar one 
dollar two dollar and at dollar pound question mark hyphen exclamation mark and zero if you read the last one expands to the name of the shell or shell script this is set at shell initialization so if bash is invoked with a file of commands dollar zero is set to the name of that file if bash is started with the dash c option the dollar zero is set to the first argument after all right so let's try this one dollar zero and we get something id and indeed yes so right now we have bypassed the restricted shell the key takeaway here guys is not the uppercase shell i don't think we're gonna you're gonna find something called uppercase shell in real life or in real scenarios but the key takeaway is to understand these special parameters all right so now we bypass the shell what do we do now so let's see here id panda 33 so now i think we have worked the challenge lastly level 33 at this moment level 34 doesn't it exist so it means guys we are done with bandit challenges you can check out the playlist in my youtube channel to see the walkthrough of all these levels in the next upcoming videos we're gonna go to natus and ch start the latest challenges so that was for today i hope you guys like that and see you later